worked so hard for four years to walk across that stage and we have drug dealers walking across that stage and we have sex offenders walking across that stage and then the 4.4 student who showed her shoulders. Our 10 C English students interviewed students and staff at River Valley High School and here are some of the clips. Yes, definitely she had a dress code. Uh, why do you think they think you know? Well, because sometimes kids wear to school, which is a formal environment, mm -hmm. and they have t-shirts that have uh, graphic uh, art or uh, that are sexist or uh, racist or that are in favor of drugs or alcohol or other uh, things we should not be talking about in the school or, or using. Uh, There's more restrictions on girls um, regarding short shorts. Boys don't tend to wear short shorts. They wear the longer shorts. Boys don't tend to wear spaghetti straps. Boys don't wear tube tops. We should not have any dress codes because students need to be able to express themselves freely. And a lot of students do that by the clothes that they wear. So, um, you're a teacher, right? Yes. How many years have you been teaching? This is my third year. Oh. In those three years, how, what do you think, like, a student's, like, what they wear have to do with how they learn? Um, I don't think it affects how they learn. Um, something might be distracting, but I don't think it'll distract from learning. So, like, what would you say about dress codes? Um, I think they're necessary. I think it's a necessary part of education. It's part of following a protocol. Like you can't, you can't dress appropriate at work. So school is kind of the same thing. Um, but for me, we're trying to teach students and kids how to respect their bodies and people around them. And I know for girls it's more difficult because they just dress differently than boys. But for women, it's learning how to dress your body, um, shorts, and you know, showing your stomach. Those are things that I think are need to be addressed, especially if you're showing a bunch of your stomach, you don't mm -hmm. need to dress like that at school. Um, and for boys, I know it's harder, but like sagging their pants, it's, it's a cultural thing, but it's also one of those things where we don't want to see your underwear. And also, um, like alcohol, drugs, anything that's inappropriate like that, I think should be on a dress code. Um, but it's one of those things where if it makes me uncomfortable, I think it needs to be addressed. So like, you basically think that they can wear what they want? as long as it's not like distracting or doesn't like go beyond the community guidelines. Yeah, if it's for something to be, I mean, inappropriate, then yeah, it shouldn't be worn at school. But I think it really has to be distracting for it not to be allowed. Yeah. Throughout the course of this interview, we found out teachers don't care about what students wear as long as it doesn't violate any community guidelines or anyone's individual beliefs. I am unable to process why dress codes are even still a thing. Dress codes, but why? Students who are at Valley High School have very opinionated thoughts about dress codes. If they have to describe dress code in one word, this is what they have to say. Yeah. I'm just unfair. No! Dress code, no dress code, no dress code, no dress code. No dress code. Being dress coded is embarrassing. Being dress coded is humiliating. Humiliation. No. This is embarrassing. This is unfair. Dress codes are unfair. Dress codes are a form of discrimination. Less strict dress code. No dress codes. I think this is sexist. This is not fair. No dress codes because they are sexist. No dress codes.